Not all epic space adventures are epic or take place in space or are even adventures. Sometimes I don't get to experience anything truly noteworthy in our ludicrous space game that's worth all the editorial blood, sweat and other bodily fluids that I secrete when cutting together stories that capture heartbreaking attempts at trying to succeed in literally anything that Star Citizen provides that qualifies as actual gameplay. Sometimes, no matter how much time and effort I put into enduring the modern Star Citizen 3.18 PTU experience, sadly no cohesive narrative epic space adventure can come out of it. I guess that's just how life in the verse goes sometimes among these grown dark and inhospitable stars. However, I thrive on views, subscriptions, comments, likes and dislikes alike, so here are my bottom 5 worst void vids unepic mini space adventures that I've strung together in a shameless attempt to keep the channel alive. Join me as we scrape the bottom of my barrel of ludicrous space game footage that I've managed to capture over the last week where nothing too interesting happens and we can chalk it all up to me just being a good alpha testicle boy for big daddy Chris Roberts. Let's begin! We're in a bunker now, and as you know, all good. Wait, never mind, that would make absolutely no sense. The server has eight lottery winning star citizens on board, and its frames are ticking at a rock solid and rarely seen 30 FPS. I was so excited that I immediately rushed over to try out this bunker in an attempt to experience what Chris Roberts was talking about that one time when he admitted that in the build of the game that he gets to play, the NPCs aren't all trying to indoctrinate players into the cult of the holy chair. Really quite. Uh, frustrating because in reviews I see fun behaviors a lot more behaviors than they're actually in the PU right now it's a lot smarter but you know you get into the live game like there's just a lot of people standing on tables doing nothing Let it never be said that all I ever do is exploit Star Citizen for content. I can hear you thinking, damn void dude, how large are your testicles? You just proved that shooting out this elevator was ineffective, throwing that grenade was truly a reckless play. To which I respond, valued and handsome viewer, that it's nothing, you should probably check out the rest of this channel's timeless content. Glitchy head registration elevators aside, it's clear that well-performing servers provide a combat experience with AI that vaguely resembles any other game. I can't wait for the day that some industry develops the technology to improve CIG servers, but at this rate, NASA or that Musk fellow would have to literally make contact with superior alien life, and when humanity enters a new age of prosperity amongst an inconceivably advanced intergalactic community, perhaps then CIG will be able to procure the hardware necessary for these servers to run this f game. There's been talk about how selling illicit products from the various stash houses around the Stanton system, such as everyone's favorite Jumptown location, are now actually lucrative again. If these updates hold true for the live release of 3.18, coupled with the fact that we now have physicalized cargo, then not only will we enter a new era of general piracy as well as the beginnings of the salvage wars, but it will also reintroduce the drug smuggling wars as well. Are we cool, bro? Yeah, nice ship. Thanks, man. Are you waiting for Jump Town to start? Yeah. Might be a while. It's, uh, it's really huge uh, with two doors. Yeah, nice updates. We're now joined by known puff smuggler, it's not fair. If like five people come to buy from here, does their stock run out? Oh yeah. I'm assuming it's going to be a bit of a mission in live, but yeah. we can figure it out. So what, Slam is good? Widow's good? Slam's good. Slam's best. Widow's okay. Altrixon's okay. So how much money have you actually got then? I've got 4,000 credits, bro. Oh, well, come escort me to Brio's, and then I'll give you like 50k. Oh my god, escort gameplay. I'll put this yeah. on YouTube and people will see that escort gameplay is not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, let's do it, dude. I'm actually quite keen to see what Brio's is like. If, if this is actually lucrative. Dude, that means like Jump Town is back in more ways than one, bro. Yep. Imagine chilling here with a sniper rifle. That's you, yeah? Yep. And I am back to one more. I'm a 
much did I make? 202k off 12 boxes? Bro, is this what it's like in 3.17? Yeah. But the stuff just doesn't refresh properly well. I mean, it still does. That was a recent update that they fixed all the There's fairly decent credits to be made running Slam to and from Yella and Daymar, which means competitive smugglers will find all kinds of exciting new ways to ruin your day, and any new reasons to visit Jumptown are great in my book. Nice one, Chris. Many other Star Citizen content creators have already covered how doing this supply re-up mission is a great way to get a market to jump down to roll the dice in the hopes that some decent loot boxes may spawn there for you. I rolled my dice and landed on a Carrack that happened to be parked at DCSR2. I love the ship and never pass up the opportunity to perform a harmless self-guided tour through its every Trekkie's dream interior. However, it appears that the holodeck has malfunctioned once again. For f sake, Picard, get your f together. You scared me, bro. Don't give me a crime stats. I'll raise you. I'll raise you. I have no intention of resuscitating this unluckiest of star citizens. I am simply stalling in the hopes that he won't press charges. In hindsight, I totally forgot to ask if he would consent to this PvP encounter. I'm simply human after all and was genuinely surprised when he appeared on the other side of that cool science fiction door. Oh, I said don't give me a crime stat, bro. In the heat of the moment, I do the only thing that I could think of at the time. Don't judge me, at least I have this bottom of the barrel content for your viewing pleasure and or displeasure depending on how you feel about Star Citizen hijacking and piracy. We're in an Anvil Carrack now and as you know, all good ships have a name, so I decided to call this one, man, this is so exciting, just think about all the content a ship like this could provide the channel. Maybe I won't have to make that backup video about the 5 worst unepic mini space adventures. Oh what? <laughs> Oh well, never mind. Can you imagine that if I wasn't a smooth-brained space idiot and actually remembered that the Carrick has a medbay and that the owner of the ship could respawn there? Perhaps I might have felt forced to kill him again. What if he continuously respawned due to not being able to change his location? Would I then continuously murder him, thus forcing him into some horrific Groundhog Day waking death nightmare? I wonder if anything like this has ever happened in Star Citizen before, and how CIG might handle such a precarious matter. I'm sure they would realize that the game is still just an alpha and the fairly complex nuances regarding situations like this require more tools and development to allow players to effectively handle it themselves. I'm sure they wouldn't send out a warning in some weird knee-jerk reaction, am I right? It had come to my attention that there was a pretty incredible new location in Star Citizen 3.18 that I had not yet been able to sink my space teeth into. Whistler's Crypt is a new location on Totally Not Tatooine that reinforces the fact that Star Citizen is just a few ISC episodes away from announcing that we're getting scuffed lightsabers officially introduced into our ludicrous space game. Yeah, like seriously. <laughs> Never had like lightsaber battles. Who's got a mining laser? That is so cool. We're in an Origin Junkworks 350R now, and as you know, all good ships have a name, so I decided to call this one, consider this epic rescue, my official Medrunners org application. Lay down covering fire. I'm gonna record this and I'm gonna call it to consider this my Medrunner application. Oh, f oh no, 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 my guy's getting out the ship, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh oh. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, uh, dead, dead, dead. <clears throat> oh. Thanks, brother. Oh, I'm flying. Yeah, I'm very ship. scared. Do you have any idea where the shots came from? Okay, I'm yeah, just yeah, sprinting yeah, to my fucking yeah, yeah, I'm gonna it. shoot the fucking air f to these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone else has accepted the rescue beacon now and they're uh, 57 million kilometers away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you knock me out? I, I don't even my, my see your marker, but. I'm right behind you. Uh. We'll just shoot them up. You're invisible. This was a complete cluster f but known revenge enthusiast Major Star Stuff and I have sworn that we will wreak havoc on the AI denizens of Whistler's Crypt. This ground control to Major Star Stuff. Has, has anyone actually gotten anything done this session? Those are literally ship wreckages. I thought these were buildings. There are other NPC ships. Oh, oh. I found some dude's body just like lying in. Oh, oh, it's all rip. Whoa, grenade time. Oh. 
<laughs> Dude. Oh! No, and down. Oh, where did those shots come from? A joke about face smashing, but holy <laughs> shit, bud. How many people are on the server, dude? There's like 11. Got it, Void. Got it, Void. There's two two up here. Ah, just have to hit. That's the problem. Come on, just die. Come here. Oh! This game, man. Overall, a pretty interesting location where you can grab at least two sniper rifles and some loot boxes that can actually be moved around. However, unfortunately, cannot fit large weapons inside of them. If you've seen my previous video, link in the description, you know that I have a soft spot for the convicts of Clesia Rehabilitation Facility, who may decide to desperately navigate the labyrinthian bowels of the prison to attempt escape for a shot at clearing their crime stats. So I've accepted a bounty for an escaped convict, and I cannot wait to dispense Chris's divine judgment upon them. We're in a Drake Interplanetary Corsair now, and as you know, all good ships have a name, so I decided to call this one the Ursa Evacuator. As we make our approach, I notice an anvil rescue Pisces off to port, and I suspect that he's here to potentially save his escapee friend who I have marked for death. The defenses of Clesha discriminate against no one, and their missile defense program manages to provide some free streamlining modifications to our ship. Man, what a flawless approach. We make our way to the cargo area where I have an Ursa rover ready to go, because I'm kind of like Space Batman now and I'm always prepared. However, I discover that it needs a bit of a tune-up, so we'll head off on foot. The rescue Pisces we detected earlier shows up and I decide to make first contact. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? His offer for a ride was a bit insulting, as just one look at my ship should tell you that it is perfectly space worthy and should be faster and easier to fly this way as well. I decide to clear out the mess of the Ursa evacuator, but fail to evacuate the Ursa. Man, physics engines and games are just so cool. We finally head off to the target on foot and I am 100% confident that we'll get there by the time he opens one of the garages. We'll kill two convicts with one bullet by acquiring the bounty and procuring his Ursa in one foul space swoop. Sadly, 700 meters out, the market disappears. Either this escapee lacks true dedication, or the bowels of Clesha have claimed yet another victim. A pain I know all too well, my friend. May you rest in peace. We return to the Ursa evacuator with plenty of time to spare and depart before we die of exposure, ready to take on another unepic mini space adventure. We definitely have put enough distance between ourselves and the Clesha missile defense program, so I enter third person view to see if the Ursa evacuator can evacuate its defense. Ursa. I perform a tactical loop the loop maneuver to potentially generate enough of a force reaction to express our unwanted cargo. Oh well, never mind. I hope you enjoyed these five worst Voidy Vids unepic mini space adventures that went nowhere and meant nothing. Thank you to my patrons for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. Thinking of pledging to this ludicrous space game, then use one of the referral codes on screen now for a free 5,000 starting credits. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description. It genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Also, follow me on Twitter if you're so inclined. I go through uncontrollable bouts of tweetage now and then, and I love interacting with people there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers.